check this out. Ingve Malmasteen Strat, which could only mean one thing. Then fretboard's been scalped. So this is super crazy guitar because I've played scallop guitars very briefly. Like, you know, you're walking through the guitar store and you're like, oh, look, a scallop fret guitar. Whoa, that feels weird. And I was like, I really want one to have for a while to where I can get used to it to see, you know, kind of wh why would you ever do this? Is is Ingve crazy? Is he a genius? He's both things, actually, and he's also very cool. So what happened was I reached out to Fender and asked them if I could borrow one of these for a while, and that was actually two years ago. And they're like, yeah, as soon as we ever get these in stock, because I wanted the Rosewood fretboard one, we'll send you one uh, to check out. Out of the blue, it shows up. I'm like, oh man, I forgot I even like had asked about this stuff. So we got it here two years later, and it's wild. Fret, you know, these scallop fretboard guitars feel very, very different, and they're just kind of not what I expected. So big shout out and thank you to Fender. I really appreciate it. If you guys want to, hit the subscribe button. Yo, let's get our scallop fretboards on. <laughs> Now, you might be like me, and I was initially thinking that a scallop fret guitar is gonna be super hard to play, and it is, but it's also easier. It's this really weird phenomenon that happens with the scallop frets, because yes, it is harder to play, but you actually have to develop a very light touch. You know, initially, I'm kind of approaching it thinking, oh, it's like having real high action on your guitar, it's gonna be really hard to push the strings down, and that's not what it's like at all. You actually have to develop this very light touch. Because of the scallop fretboard, what happens is you can easily push the notes out of tune if you push down too hard. So what I had to do was realize that, oh, I must really like mash down the strings on a normal fretted guitar. And on this one, I had to develop this light touch on the guitar and it actually started transferring over to other guitars. And by developing that lighter touch on the guitar, it's giving you another layer of dynamics to your left hand. So right out of the gate, I thought that was really fascinating. I was not prepared for it to be easier to play in some sense and harder at the same time because like I said, the light touch is kind of the the main thing that you have to develop here. And one of the things that's really cool, obviously Ingve, who has this amazing vibrato, Bending in vibrato is way easier on here. You can really grab the strings and get under them. That's actually one of the reasons why I like more of like a medium action on my guitar because I like to get my fingers underneath the strings. You can do it super easy on here. So scallop fretboards aside, what's super cool about this guitar is it's literally one of the best sounding strats I think I've ever played. It has to be partly due to, obviously, the guitar itself. There's a lot of specs, which I'm gonna cover later on. There's a link down below if you wanna check the specs out, you totally can. But I'll hit you with all those at the end of the video. But what I've gotta talk about is these pickups. So these are the signature Ingve Malmsteen Seymour Duncan pickups. And if I ever need single coils put in a strat style guitar again, I will 100% be getting these. They sound so big, so stratty. They're noiseless, I mean. Like, amazing, amazing pickups. It's a huge part of the sound of this guitar. Um, I just, I wanted to focus on those because I've been blown away by the way the pickups sound. So, if you need single quote pickups, check these puppies out. The final thing that I thought was really interesting about the guitar is that I did not approach it in that Jimi Hendrix SRV school. A lot of times when I play a Strat, I'm not sure if you guys do this too, I default, especially when you get to the neck pickup, to the Jimi Hendrix thing. I'm just, I'm, I'm double stopping all day. And that stuff still sounds good on this guitar, but I didn't find myself wanting to play like that. So that was like this weird phenomenon that was happening of, oh, it's a Strat, but I'm not playing it like I would normally play a Strat. Granted, I just tried to do like an Yngwie inspired thing, 
but I never caught myself playing it the same way that I play one of my other strats, so I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, so on to the wrap-up of the guitar. I want to hit you with some of the specs, because there's some cool things that set this strat apart from all the other strats. Obviously, on the cover, you look at it, and you're like, bro, it's a strat. Obviously, with the scallop fretboards, super cool thing that Yngwie has, because he likes the 70s strats, is the bullet truss rod. How cool is that? I, I would, like, this needs to be like a standard thing. Like, that is cool. And you've got this brass nut up here. Sustain. So many tuning issues come from the nut. The brass one, that one gets it done. You're gonna stay in tune, you're gonna be brassy and classy. <laughs> I have a question. Yes? What, question from the back? What is a bullet thing? A bullet truss rod, which you would have seen in the B-roll that I provided, is it's the truss rod, but instead of having a, um, that one that goes down in the guitar, can you see it? It sticks out, so it came out in the 70s. Mm. Bullet truss rod, see? So you don't have to take the you don't, have to, you don't have to take the neck off. One more thing of note is that this has a nitro neck on it and a poly body. So the back of the fretboard, especially if you get like a maple one, that's gonna wear in just like you think nitro would. And uh, it gives you that real nice nitro smell when you open the case up, because that's what, that's what we're here for. We're here for the smell. Alder body, obviously a maple neck, rosewood fingerboard. And uh, that's pretty much it. So if you guys want to get even more specky, all that stuff is linked down below for you. Link to the pickups as well, because those suckers sound so good. And uh, yo, I'm going to end it bluesy Ingve style. Thank you again to Fender for letting me check one of these out. I really do appreciate it. It feels different enough from a normal Strat that I would say it's worth getting if you already have a Strat. Super different vibe, super different feel. I'm going to shut up now and end it bluesy Ingve style. Yeah.